Uh, northwest. Uh, yeah, zero yeah. three nine. Our squad no, zero three two one. For us. Zero three two one. Cherokee eight three zero three nine. Something I like to do on these flights is a falling leaf stall. Have you ever done one of those? I have not. All right. Um, so let's do that for a second. If you want to come back to spins, we can do some more spins. But otherwise, I've seen what I need to see. Okay. My controls for a second. You have the controls. It's not My tram. controls. Okay. And I'm just, again, going to point Probably into the wind so we're not going to end up way down. Uh, 0321. Okay, so a falling leaf stall is okay, just a power off flaps up stall. But instead of recovering, we're going to hold it stalled. Okay. And our job is to pick a little point out there. I'm going to use a cloud, and we're just going to fly it straight ahead. All right. So sort of like you did earlier, and I'm uh, trying to ease it into it so we don't have that big abrupt snap. All right, there's their stall warning horn. That airplane is stalled now. You see how you have to dance on the rudders to keep it upright? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what happens if you don't? It'll drop. Or we're gonna it'll spin. spin, right? Very nice. Okay. We're just mushing. Yeah. So I'm going to hold it slow there for you so you don't have to do all that. Your controls. I have you got controls. it. And I'm holding back. All right. And you can reduce your power to idle. And just take your time, set it up, get it stalled comfortably, and then just dance on those rudders. Just keep it upright. Yep, stick all the way back and just hold it there. Whoop, there you go. Almost a spin. We'll recover there. And so that's part of the trick or the nuance is we get it stalled in there and we got to get that stick just all the way back and don't let it forward, right? We're on the rudder, on the rudder, on the rudder. Recover. Nice. Thank yeah. you. So that's, uh, obviously you wouldn't do that with like a first or third day student, right? But if somebody's really having trouble with rudder coordination or stalls or just, all right, you're, you're doing just, really, really well. Let's try something advanced. It just shows you how safe it is and how, I mean, it's just practice. Yep. Balancing on a ball. Yep. Um, Dutch rolls? You ever done Dutch rolls? I have not done a Dutch okay, roll. Okay, so not roll in the sense of upside down. It's a uh, drill for aerodynamic um, adverse yaw. Adverse My yaw. controls? You have the controls. My controls. All right, so what we're going to do, again, is pick uh, that uh, point on the horizon we're somewhere. 5,300 descending. Just a cloud. Now, I'll cut through it real quick here because we already talked about it. Adverse yaw, if I roll left, the nose wants to go right. So let's prove that. I'm going to roll, not violently, but I'm going to stick it into a left turn with no rudder. Watch what the nose does. All right, clear left. See how high up the nose went? Oh, yeah, yeah. And if I roll out, look at what the nose does. Oh, so you get this. Yep, that's adverse yaw. What do we do? We learn that rudder is how you counter adverse yaw. So if I lead with my rudder. Check is up three down our contact, the tower one. See that? Three. Same with the rollout. We lead with rudder when we roll out. All right, your controls. I have the controls. So just do that same thing. Do one at first with no rudder at all, and just prove to yourself that that's what happens. Roll into one, no rudder, and roll back out. And we're in maneuvering speed. Yes. Clear left, clear right. Clear left. Yep, see the nose up, and when you roll out, whoot, the nose goes down. Huh. It is absolutely opposite. All right, so now do that same thing, but with the appropriate amount of rudder so the nose stays right on the horizon line. Yeah, roll out. Not doing a very good job keeping yeah, a level with the horizon here, though. Sweet. Nice. So then when we're teaching students steep turns and they're having this trouble that they're screwing up their altitude right at the very end, a lot of times it's because they're not using the, right, the appropriate amount of rudder. All right, so clear right here. My controls for one right. second. Yeah. So if we're doing a right steep turn, you got a student who just cranks it in. Well, they're going to gain altitude in this, right? Sure, sure. So clear right. We roll it in. We keep it right on there. And then hold it through the maneuver, rolling out. The altitude doesn't change. It's just dead on. The other thing that you can teach, and maybe you've already played with this, is I like asking my students, if we hold this stick here, can I bank the airplane? 
I can I can move the nose around. Okay, but we can't bank the airplane. Well, it'll it'll do this. It'll rock. All right, clear right. Because I'm on an instrument approach. This is what I do. You know, I don't touch the aileron. Yeah. I've I've used the rudder. Time to roll out. Well, you just broke all the rule books. <laughs> so we teach that turning an airplane is as much those as it is this. Obviously, this is a very uncomfortable way to roll an airplane, which is why that we have to use both of them, right? That's how we get that nice, smooth feel. Right, right. All right, your controls? I have the controls. Your controls. The turn without the ailerons. Yeah. 